Hello folks and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. We're on a shrine hunt as per usual. We're looking for the corresponding point to this light route, which is right up here. So let's go ahead and teleport over to the Crenel Hills and see what we can find. I always have a problem with finding the shrines inside of mountains. I'm assuming this one's inside of a mountain. I guess it, we could be really lucky. It could be on top. Actually, I have no idea where this shrine of it is. Is this inside? Seems like it would be. Oh, this was the one inside the broken tree. Okay, I kind of vaguely remember this one. Wasn't this also surrounded by bad guys? I don't remember, but maybe... Could have been. Okay, yeah, grab the shrooms. Grab the pine cones. Um, hmm, that seems like a bad guy area, but there's no actual bad guys there. Oh, there's an Aracuda just taking a nap, I guess. Murder him. Oh, that woke up his friend. It was just the Aracuda? No, 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 there's totally another guy here. Didn't need to do anything too special there. So we got an Aracuda still here. Thanks for the fire fruit, buddy. The Aracuda go. Don't know. I don't even know where the guy is. Oh, here we go. Okay, that's the Aracuda there. Where'd the other guy go? Oh, he's just... Did he just move? Okay, well, he dies easy at least. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. He's trying to throw something at me, I think. Yeah, there he is. Okay, so this is just like the Aracuda Avery or something? Oh shit, those are freaking gloom hands. Okay, we gotta bring in our sages for this. This is gonna be a pain in the ass, but it's gonna be worth it, I think. Hey guys, what's up? Fire in the freaking hole, bitches. Oh, that one missed. That one missed. Oh, they're on fire. They're almost dead. Did that do it? Yeah, lit this place up, though. All right, Phantom Ganon, let's go. Where's he at? There he is. Hey, buddy. What's up? Where'd he go? He disappeared. That's not allowed. You're not allowed to just disappear like that. Yeah, okay. Did manage to basically parry him there, but we need to... Yeah, we need to do the flurry rush, otherwise it's not really going to work. Yeah, I can't... I mean, I, I could have done the parry there, but... I do appreciate there is wailing on him there. Oh, that kick. That's just a dirty kick, Ganondorf. You should know. You should be better than that. Hey, at least that missed me. My weapon's about to give out. Now there it goes. Okay, no big deal though. I mean, might as well go ahead and, you know, seal the darkness here. There we go. I mean, that bow's pretty good, and the bow doesn't have any downsides to it either. I want this bow. This bow, yeah, it's gonna be a 54 bow again, so I will drop. I need my 38s, I guess. Yeah, another 54. Yeah, not too bad. Alright, anything else around here we need to grab? I don't think so. Aracuda eyeballs, not bad. He, they were lighting a fire here for some reason. I don't really need to climb the tree. Oh, there's a palm fruit up there. That might be good. So how in the world do the bad guys get up here? I mean, I guess they just climb. Maybe they're just really good climbers. I mean, obviously they can't do ascent. Yeah, they must be just really good climbers. Okay, do we ever pick up a Gloom Club? I don't remember. I'm taking a picture of it before, so we must have done it. I mean, I guess I can take it, but do I want it? Yeah, it gradually wears down the body of its wielder, so I definitely don't want this. All right. All right. I kind of vaguely remember this being a thing before, so the bloom is not a horrible thing. Okay, we need to go to Crenel Peak. 
gonna try to go as high as I can. I don't think we're gonna be able to fly all the way over to Chronicle B, but we should be able to get in the vicinity. And we have a lot of stuff we still haven't done. Like, even all the stuff we have done, all the shrines we've gotten, all the... And we've gotten all of the sages, which is great. I guess the sages can go ahead and go back to bed for right now. Don't need you right now, guys. Thanks. Thanks for your help with the... with the bloom boss. Um, but even all the stuff we've done, we've still got a ton of other side quests to do. Not to mention a bunch of these sky islands are still unexplored. So I think it's that peak over there, right? Yes, that's right. Yeah, we're not going to be able to fly over there. There's just not enough... Not enough windage. Strangely enough, the shrine detector has not started going off. Like, you think it would be going by now. It usually goes at a good distance. Don't suppose it could be inside of there? There is a bad guy in there. Hello? You don't actually see me, do you? Yeah, that knocks you out. I don't even know what you were carrying. What were you carrying? Oh. Hey, guys. I was just carrying apples. Well, apples are good. We like apples. Another bad guy right over here. An Aracuda who might not be able to see me. And we have no idea where this is. Alright, I mean, we'll just do battle. Sure, why not? Got a big old Bakuman and some friends, so let me bring in my friends. I need to attach some stuff to Minoru. <laughs> Oh, okay. I probably should have at least carried that. Oh, what the actual shit was that? I got hit hard. Uh, do I have a full heal here? There we go. That's a full heal. Oh, he's silver. That's why. Okay. Well, there goes that weapon. Okay. Keep him locked on here. He does a wide swing, too. Okay, good job, Minoru. Good job. Roar. Okay. Swipe and swipe. Okay. Yeah, but uh, why is distracted by me? The other sages can take the Okay. Great job. I do not need to pick that up. Thanks. With this stuff I will totally pick up. Uh, do I want the sticks? I mean, yeah, kind of. Like, if we get into a storm, we're going to need weapons that don't get electrified. I guess the Zonite's good for that, too. Oh, now the shrine's going off. Or the shrine detector's going off. Okay. So we are going the right direction, which is great. Good confirmation. So you want to shut off the stages again. somewhere around here. I mean, really, it's probably just going to be a matter of looking for the bubble frog, right? Or the, yeah, bubble frog. That tree doesn't look like the type's going to come to life, so that's good at least. There's a dragon over there. I do not know which one that is. He's pretty high. Uh, we'll probably see if we can get a picture. Oh, yeah, that's Zelda. Hey, Zelda. A picture of you? Okay, I've already got a picture of the hawk. Yeah, it's totally Zelda. Uh, don't we need, like, pieces from Zelda, like, scales and stuff? That kind of sounds familiar. Uh, if she's going that way, we could probably hit her with the Skyview Tower. Like, that could probably work. Trouble is, we'd lose all the progress for this shrine. Like, we'd have to make this journey all over again and maybe even fight the bad guys again, depending on when the Blood Moon is. Okay, there's a shrine over there, but we've already... Have we already done that one? No. No, we have not. Okay, we'll mark it for sure. We'll need that one later. Right, the shrine detector has changed its tune, which means probably it's beneath me. How about that one? Have we done that one? Roughly that direction. 
No. Okay, so you know what? I don't think we've done this stable either. Because the wells aren't there. I mean, we've marked it. It's here. But I don't think we've done the stable quest. Alright. Well, then, go ahead and mark that one, too. We'll need that. Oh, more bad guys. Uh, just the one, apparently. If I'm a good enough shot, we should just be able to take this. Oh, what the actual shit. That was horrible. I mean, it did hit him that second time, but that was still pretty bad. Oh, yeah, you got the alarm off. Okay, well, shocked everybody. That was great. But unfortunately, that's all that was great about that. How about we just bring in Minoru here? Ow, that was a fantastic shot. You're very good at this. Oh, okay, yep, you got me. Good job. Okay, yeah, we can take out... Oh, you know what? Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, let him drop. That's okay. Minero might go chase him. We'll see how that goes. Um, I could use the long stick, actually. Okay, he's gonna come up here. He's actually really good. I think I would need to climb that. Okay, buddy, let's go. Okay, there. Okay, I got it. Nice. Okay. Now, we just need to look for a bubble frog. It's going to be around somewhere. Oh, is that a gnarled? That's a gnarled wooden stick. That's actually better than our current wooden stick. Yeah, let's drop this. Pick up that one. That'll last longer. Don't see a bubble frog around here. You would be glowing. It'd be very easy to spot, you would think. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Oh, no. That looked like... Okay. Minoru, your freaking teleportation. When you move around, it made me think that there was a shrine here. So just go away for right now. We've seen a lot of bad guys, but I don't see a bubble frog. Come on, little bubble frog. Where you at? He's always the indicator. There's a bad guy over there. What kind of bad guy is that? Oh, okay. Just a Bakuben on a on a horse. Yeah, okay. Shrine this way. I mean, you're not wrong. It's just underneath me somewhere. I do not want to have to leave the mountain. Ah, uh, hold on. Just climb off that. What is that? Oh, we need to cut that, don't we? Okay. Oh, there's a cave there. Oh, and there's a bubble frog there. Okay, so this is totally the right cave, I think. Let's do this part first, though. So we need to cut this and, I think, catch it or something? I forgot what we need to do with this. I think that's right. Oh, come on. Get up there, freaking Link. Ah, it's just so slippery with the goddamn rain. Okay. Now we just watch where it goes. And beat it there. Oh. Okay. No, I need to examine first. I need to hit the examine button. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Let's try that again. Okay, so it lands about here-ish. This did last time. Yeah, here we go. There we go. I did find you. I just need like 30 more of those. Then I can get another weapon. Okay, great. Take you, take you, and we're going to go in here. Is battle music playing right now? Who thinks they're battling me right now? Oh, some freaking cute little guys here. Hey, little choo choos. That's really not going to work here, guys. Oh, bomb flower. Great. Uh, Muddlebud here might be pretty good. I'm mean, not that they're anything really too dangerous to deal with, but, you know. Why risk it? Oh, it didn't work. Okay, Muddlebud now. Oh, there's a big guy there. Okay, so maybe let's see if they take care of the big guy for us. He's going to attack, or he's going to take care of them for me, I suppose. Might also work. 
Oh, and they'll just attack each other. Okay, so that was not great. Well, on the upside, we don't have to deal with all of his minions. You just have to deal with him. That's not too bad. We can totally do that. Yeah, I think that actually took care of everybody. Oh, I wonder if we could sneak up on this guy. Might be able to do it. His, we know where his back is. Okay, we know what? I need stealth for this. Give me my stealth suit. One of my stealth suits. I don't actually care which one. There we go. I don't hear my own footsteps. That's usually a good sign. I mean, I guess I do kind of, but he doesn't. And sneak strike. Oh, that was a really good hit, too. That was really nice. Stunned him and everything. That was really good. Gotta do that more often. Okay, a lot of apples. And not much else, unfortunately. Eh, there's some fangs. Alright, that's not too bad. Oh, we got inside the chest. Okay, five bomb flowers. That's not nothing. I need a sledge for this, I think. So we, um, we're still using the Talus sledge, right? 72. Wow. I'm trying to think, like, what would even cause it to be that great? I don't even know. Okay, the amber is great. I do love the amber. Just rock salt. Okay. And for this, we need a slashing weapon. So, Lizzle Spear might count. Nope. Not technically a slash. This will work, though. Okay, hold on. Yeah, there's some lizard dudes around here. Let's see if we can grab them. Before I start blowing anything up. Can I grab you from here? Do I need to climb for you? I might need to climb for you, which means I think we give up our stealth. That got you. Okay, we got the sticky lizard at least. Um, hmm. So what I'm wondering here... Okay, you know what? You know what? We have a sage for this. We don't need to use a bomb. We have sages. Grab the Goron. Sorry, Unobo. Uh, hello? There you are. Hey, buddy. Point you over in this direction. Oh, alright. We need to do that again, apparently. Uh, anything good here? Uh, drop some bright plume seeds and a rusty claymore, which is pretty bad. All right, what else you got? Got another layer. Anything good in here? Uh, some flint, which surprisingly did not actually explode. And a lot of rusty claymores. All right, nothing great. At least he's taking down a whole huge section at once, which is more than a bomb would do for sure. Got some rock salt. All right, anytime you're ready to do this again, you know about. Um, there we go. Good, good. Let's go. Okay, yeah, more rock salt, which is not that great. Okay, so apparently we want to go one of two directions. Uh, I guess we go to the left first. Couldn't hurt. Get more flint, which I guess we do need. So oh, don't pick up the rock. We don't need the rock. Great, my sword's power has been restored. Uh, how you feel about uh, how you feeling about water there, you know, Bo? What do you think? What do you think? I think you can do it. You went un into the water, which is not where I would have gone, but okay. Um, let's try a bomb here. Yeah, the thing is, Yanobo's actually better. He's actually better. There's also some bad guys over on the other side of that, of course. We'll get there eventually, Yanobo. Oh, so I want that opal first. Okay, maybe that's actually on ground? Is that on ground? No, it's just resting on top of one of the explodable blocks. Okay, so that's not going to work for me. Okay, Yanobo, ready to do this again? Let's go. Mm, kind of feel like there is ground there, and that's what he's running up against. Like, he can't quite get to the explodable rocks because of the ground. Um, what if you go that way? That's a little better, but yeah, there's totally ground there. I don't know if you, I don't know if that's big enough for you know, but to show up. Maybe. 
Oh, there's a there's a chest down there. I'll grab the grab the cave fish. Drop from there. Let's go see if we can pick up the chest. Thought I saw a chest. Can I see a chest? There it is, right there. Isn't that a chest? That's just a rock. This is funny. Uh huh. Well, Inobo can't appear here. It's too short for him. And I definitely do not want to explode a bomb here, because that would totally explode me. Yeah, okay. There's got to be another way to do this. Okay. Yeah, Inobo, hello. All right, try going that way. Mm, only kind of worked. Yeah, I don't know. He can't roll up the land, though, is the problem. Okay, so it's got to be bomb arrows, then. There's nothing else we can do. There we go. That did it. Oh, and we have ourselves a horrible one. Hello. No one's surprised. How about you take an eyeball to the face? Okay, it didn't knock him out. It just delays him for a little bit. Long enough for me to get over there, hopefully. Oh, come on. Come on, we can do it. Yeah, just keep on stun locking him here. It's great. He's taking enough damage, he just keeps getting stun locked. If you drop him in the water, he'll drown. Hopefully that's not necessary. Oh no, he'll just drown. Okay. Okay, great. Uh, I think we want to keep on exploding rocks, but this time Yunobo can totally do it. So, Yunobo, hello. Go that way. Oh, did we actually drop something good? You did. You found a sapphire. Good job, Yunobo. Alright, let me also make sure we have our sledge available. Okay. Yunobo, you ready? Go that way. Nothing else good there. All right, you know, but whenever you're ready. I'll wait. There we go, and go for it. Oh, rock salt. Oh, and there's the bubble frog. Hello. Now, last time we traded in bubble gems, it wasn't for much, and then he went left. We have to find the bubble jump vendor again. No idea where he is. Okay, so I think we looped. I think we freaking looped. Yeah, we went all the way around. So we found the bubble frog, but not the shrine. The shrine should be right here. So, oh, wait a minute. Is that it there? Yeah, that's totally it. Okay, so somehow I just passed it. Totally works out, though. Oh, and there's some, well, luminous stone around. I don't know if we necessarily need that. Here, go ahead and put Yunobo away. There we go. Huh, there was actually flint inside. I don't think I've ever seen flint in a luminous stone before. I mean, maybe I just wasn't paying attention, but I don't remember that ever happening. Grab you and do this. Okay. Oh, amber. It's not bad. All right, what kind of shrine are we looking for here? Combat, puzzle, just a reward shrine for finding it? That's possible. I don't think it was that difficult to find. Wouldn't surprise me if this is actually a puzzle or a combat shrine. Reward wouldn't be out of line necessarily, but it seems like it was a little bit too easy to find. Oh, yep. It's a it's a prove your worth shrine. Okay. Well, the fire up there was really kind of freaky. Yeah, no kidding, game. Outside equipment's forbidden. No shit. No actual shit. Rotation. Okay, so we got to expect some constructs. But what's the trick here? You're giving me a thick stick and a shield. 
but you can't use both at the same time because, you know, it's a thick stick. So that doesn't exactly work. Hmm, there is a lot of rotation going on. Those are probably archers, would be my guess. Well, that's probably why they're giving me the shield. Alright, so put the weapon away. Can I shield up? Okay, I can shield up without the weapon out. That's good to know. So we might need it here. Okay. Oh, except I don't want you to... No, don't... Oh, damn it. Okay, well, at least he's dead and I didn't die. Surprisingly. Oh, the fire actually set him... I didn't realize it would set him on fire. Oh, they set me on fire, too, though. I don't want that. Okay, somebody else got set on fire. That totally worked. Knocked his shield away, which is great. Um, I can grab his shield, which is also great. So I need to combine with something pretty soon, otherwise this thing is not long for this world. Yep, thick stick is badly damaged. Please just take him out. Okay, we can grab his sword, which is also great. And the weapon's gone, but he's dead. Okay, I mean, it could have been worse. Could have been better, but definitely could have been worse. Okay, you there, and combine with, I don't know, the axe, maybe? Eight versus three, so yeah, the axe, okay. No, no, don't, just put it down, put it down. Okay. Anything else down here? Oh, yep, okay. So can I take you out? Can I, like, shoot you or something? Oh, that did shoot you off, okay. I wasn't expecting that to work. But totally did, and we can retrieve the arrow again. Okay, we have the rusty broadsword. I probably want to combine with something. I don't know if I need a second weapon. Like, it's, it should be pretty fast inside here, but just in case. Oh, did I not? I didn't put it down. Okay. Alright. There's a spring here. That probably is the way I'm supposed to get up. Wow. Really far up, apparently. Okay, shut you off, which is great. I can get the arrow back. Don't know if I need the cannon shield necessarily, but it could work. Actually, here's probably not a bad idea to test out the cannon shield. The trick is aiming it. Okay, aim it. Nope. Okay, it doesn't seem like this cannon shield would last very long, but... Oh, I missed. Target that guy, right over here. There we go. That was pretty cool. I don't know if I get to keep any of this. Oh, how do I know to keep... How have I had a shield slots? Uh, I will drop this one in order to pick up this one. There we go. I think we do just have one construct left. This should be dead simple. Just don't go near the fire. And target this dude with the cannon. He's dead. No worries. I mean, I kind of want to keep some weapons here. Like, I wish I got a choice. You know, I would like to keep these Zonite weapons, basically. Ah, yeah. See, this stuff just disappears. That's too bad. Still, though, not too shabby. Not too shabby. All right, anything good in here? Mm, not really. So I need to pick this up in order to make sure that it doesn't mark this as still having a chest inside. So I will drop, I'll drop this, just so I can pick up the magic rod, but then we're going to swap out. There. I think this makes four, but I'm not actually sure. 
survey sizes. Now three. Okay, I'm still missing one. All right. All right. We know there's another one in kind of the same area, right? We saw two shrines from up on the mountaintop. I guess we've totally missed Zelda by now. Um, I could probably just send out of here, right? Not quite. There we go. Right there. Just swim right through the mountain. Match link. There you go. Okay, there's one over near the gloom hole. And... That might be the best one to go to right now, because that's the one I can see. It's the other one... Okay, that, the other one's near the... Okay, that... We probably want to go over to the wetland stable last anyway, because there's probably a separate quest there. So this makes sense. This one's at least visible from the air. Oh, you know what? I need Tolan for this. Mm, even with Tolan, I don't think we're going to make it there. There's some ruins over here. Could be gloom. Like gloom hands, maybe. Hold on, is this, uh, this might be a Korok thing here. Uh, no. No, it's just fire fruit and some other stuff. Okay. Oh, but the... Oh, what is that? That is totally a Korok. Question is, how do we get over there? And I guess just climb it, I suppose? Yeah, this should work. Okay, so being here usually means there's some kind of thing to shoot. Oh, here we go. Didn't even see it. Okay, well, that one's easiest, right? So hit that one first. They're a little bit further away than you would think. Oh, that was a total whiff. When it goes down, I think is when we're going to do this. Oh, should I just I got to keep the delay in mind. Yeah, when they go down is when I want to fire at them. There we go. So when that one goes down. Perfect. Okay, again, just 30 more of those. Where's the bad guys at? I saw bad guys react when I fired my bow over here. Where are you at? If it's gloom hands, I'm going to be a little upset, but we'll see. I mean, we can deal with it. It's not horrible, but it's not ideal. Oh, change over to a real weapon, will ya? That's not a weapon. That's, um... Here. Soldier blade. Okay. Oh, we can sneak up on this guy. That'd be great. I've got a stealth suit, after all. Let's get rid of... Shit, was that? Oh, okay, never mind. Never mind, no sneaking here. Oh, okay, no, no, you got me, you got me, good job. Make sure you don't pick up your head. You don't pick up your head. You're delayed by Tolan. And then you don't pick up your head. Oh no, I hit him in the head anyway. Okay, we're good. These guys are gonna be here. Yeah, okay, you know, no, you got me, you got me, good job. Okay, so much for being sneaky. Okay, let's take care of the minor guys first. Let Tolan deal with that, him, because he can't be hurt. And there's Chews here too. Get away, little Chews. Okay, now you. There we go, that's what I'm looking for. You know, the problem with the 200 weapons, I don't get as many shots in. Oh, okay, I just jumped too soon there. There we go, that's what I wanted. Uh, one more of those might do it. There we go. Always on the second one. Why can I never get the first one done? Bakuman's down, no worries. Not able to sneak up on him, but that's how it goes sometimes. 
anything good in here? Bakub and Fang. The bow is pretty bad. You guarding anything in here, or are you just in here for the nap? I just been in here because it was a nice fortified place for a nap. Totally fair. Totally fair. Have I been inside this well? I don't think I have. Usually there's water in these wells, but not this time. I uh, told him I think you can go ahead and go away. It's a little bit too cramped in here for you, and I don't think it's really going to work. Okay, a little bit of water here, but not much. Some sticky guys, which doesn't really help me. Is there actually nothing in here at all? Any other Zelda game, a crack on a wall like this would mean bomb here. But I don't think that's true here. Uh, let's see if we just have anything to move. No. No, nothing special in here. This seems like a just a broken well. There's no there's no nothing in here. Like maybe it's tied to a quest or something, but I have no idea what. Let's try ascending from here and see if there's anything anything special blocked or secret area or anything. Oh yeah, kind of. Okay. Uh, so I want to be actually with that chest. So go down. So I want to be like over here, I guess. Does that work? Maybe. Now can't quite get over to where the chest is. I don't see how else we're supposed to get in there. Yeah, unless the door... Oh, that might explode open. Alright, might as well pop out. See what we can do. Because, like, I can know I can move this. That's easy enough. Yeah, okay, that totally can explode. I'm pretty sure. Let's throw a bomb. There we go. So, what do we got? Armor piece, maybe? Royal Shield. 55 is not terrible. Um, yeah, let's drop the Mighty Zone Night Shield. I'm okay with that. There we go. Alright, my guess is just arrows in here. Yep, two of them, in fact. Two whole arrows. Two entire arrows. Well, then that was kind of worth it, right? Might be more in here. I guess we can explore and find out. Nope, that was it. Okay. That's still pretty good, though. Okay, it's heading towards the shrine. Shrine is right over there. Just looking around, making sure we're not getting more bad guys around here, but I think this is it. Oh, this water would totally fool me from a distance. If we had tried to dive into this water, we would have just snapped our neck. Oh, hey, there's a... I totally haven't seen... The sign guy in a while. Uh, do you have any building materials near you, or is it just the rocks? Looks like it's just the rocks. Dude, what are you even doing here? Oh, and on a point, too. It would be on a freaking point. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Yeah, all we have to do here is rocks. That's all we got. Dude, I don't even know. Oh, what's with that boat? There's some bad guys on there, so we need to deal with that, too. Uh, okay, so your rocks... Dude, what the actual shit? Um, hmm. Technically doable? Alright, let's see what we can do here. So, the thing is, the rocks make this harder, right? Like, we can do this. This is just gonna roll away, right? Yeah, that just rolls away. Uh, we can stick these kind of together. So, here, I can put, like, attach these two together. And then attach this, like, there. And then kind of put that up against his signage. But even that, he's just going to roll backwards. Technically, this is the most stable. But even that can't really... Yeah, it can't really hold up the sign. Like, he doesn't even touch the sign right now. 
So what do we do? I mean, we can stack it around it. That almost hit me. Uh, kind of like there. Yeah, but that hurts him. Which I don't want to do. And we could just stack around him. I guess. I don't know what else to do with this guy. He's in a very strange place. Uh, rotate this rock a little bit. Do it like there? What if we attach it? Hold on. What if we go like that and attach it there? That might hold it in place there. This one's not attached, which worries me a little bit. What if we rotate it? Make it touch the sign. Maybe? Dude, I don't even know anymore. It's not touching the sign anymore, either. It's a touching it on... It's not even touching on any sides. It's not touching it at all. It's a very strange little construct we created. That does absolutely nothing. Well, it might hold it there, but that's all it's going to do. It's going to hold it in one spot, no other spots. Sorry, dude. I don't mean to freak you out, Addison, but it's also kind of weird where you're putting this. Like, how is this an advertisement for your friend here? I don't know if this is going to work. I mean, maybe? Okay, try letting go. See what happens. Holy shit. Yeah, I'm surprised too. Alright? Like, I don't know how that worked. But we're just going to go with it. I guess we jammed the rock underneath the sign. Maybe that's what it was. I'm unclear how physics works there. Yep, okay. So he's thrilled. 20 whole rupees. Okay, I mean, six hearts worth. That's not bad. And a bomb flower. You've got more places to go? How many more places do you got, buddy? How many more places do you got? Okay, so this... This we already know the light route, right? I think so? No. Okay, well that's actually good news then. Because now we have a place to go to get that light route for sure. How we missed the shrine before, I don't even know. I don't remember coming here, so it could be we just walked around to, like, the stable and that was it. Should be very easy to get this light route, though. We just dive down the gloom hole, and that'll do it. Alright, see if we can figure out the shrine. Deep Force. Ooh, okay, so we gotta raise the ball, reverse of gravity. How in the nine howls are we going to do this? Hmm. I mean, do we just... Can we just raise it? Is that a thing? We just take the ball and touch it to the top. Okay, the answer is no. No, I cannot. Oh, but it does bounce. Just not enough. Okay. All right. That's a very bouncy ball. Yeah, it's just not quite going to reach there. Okay, very strange. Don't know what to do with that. Can I do any... I can't move anything else, right? I can just move the ball? Okay. Um, well, alright. So I can cheat a little bit here, I think. What I can do is make a platform for myself. By throwing like one of the one of the, the ice fruits. Yeah. So yeah, that'll make a block that I can then stand on. Oops, don't be underneath the block. There you go. So I can stand here. And I might be able to touch the ball. Oh, I still can't do it. I still can't do it. Even cheating can't do it. The splash is just weird, right? There's gotta be a reason why it bounces like this. So the thing is, like, recall's not gonna help me here. I mean, I can rewind this all I want, but I don't think it's gonna actually work. 
Uh, okay, that's that's when I was moving it. Got it, got it, got it. Yeah, okay, so it's not really gonna work. I need something to increase the bounce. I need to move it a little bit over, too. So it needs to be, like, right about there. Yeah, the bounce... I mean, physics says that, you know, conservation momentum... It's gonna lose energy every time because it's losing energy to the splash. So how the heck do we get it up there? Okay, so we can't just move it up there. Like, that's not a thing. Hmm... All right, well, this is going to be a puzzler. I thought it was going to be easy, but this is actually going to be a bit of a puzzle. Yeah, because I can't reach up that way. I can't go up that high. Hmm. The splash is strange. I thought maybe reverse or rewind would help, but it just doesn't reach up far enough. So I wonder if maybe we can combine this. What if I do a rewind? Put it up there. Eventually. It'll get there. Okay, and then grab it from there. Can I grab it there and then push it further up? No, it doesn't work. Okay. Alright, it was worth a shot. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna think about this one. Right now, thanks for watching. This has been Legend of Zelda: Tears of the Kingdom. I'm Peace Universe here, Peace the Universe too, and I'll see you guys next time.